everyone, this is SC Only 5 News. I'm your host, Adrian Miramontes, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm sure I am. So let's get started with our top story. <music> Duck in Massachusetts fell ill, and when its owner took it to the vet, they found 19 pacifiers in the dog's stomach. A Massachusetts veterinarian hospital got quite a surprise recently when a family brought in their bulldog after he stopped eating. The Angel Animal Medical Center found 19 baby pacifiers in the dog's stomach. It started in April when the Wesley's family noticed that the three-year-old dog, Mortimer, started getting nauseous before meals. His owner, Emily Shanahan, brought Mortimer to the vet, who prescribed the medicine to take care of the issue, but it didn't help, and Mortimer eventually stopped eating entirely. Shanahan went to Angel, where they took x-rays and discovered the pacifiers from Shanahan's two children over the course of two months. Quite shocking to see a dog who can swallow that many pacifiers over the course of a month, and unnoticed. The pacifiers were removed without surgery, and Mortimer has fully recovered and is back at home. Is it Jesus or is it balloons? That's the question this week after a man recorded an object floating in the sky. I want to warn you that this video may be a little scary for some viewers. Please, please, my father. Mom, it's a man. It's a man. Jesus, is that you? Oh, what is it? Pablo Morales was outside his house in Burbank, California when he saw a strange creature in the sky. The unidentified floating object looks like a person descending from the clouds. Is that Jesus Christ? In the video, Pablo could be heard telling his family he thinks it's a second coming of Jesus. Telling his mother in Spanish, it looks like a man. Mom, es un hombre. Es un hombre. Pablo and his family watch as the object keeps descending closer and closer to their roof. As it sings behind their house, Pablo asks the group if they think it's balloons. You don't think that's balloons? Looks like it's coming down. He said there were no balloons. He also said that they live near an airport so drones are prohibited. But for now, no one knows what that mysterious creature could be. You know how much I love world records. Well, a pizzeria in New Jersey set a world record for the biggest USA flag pizza. A New Jersey pizzeria is seeking a Guinness World Record title for the US flag pizza measuring 9 feet by 4 feet. Out of hand pizza provided the red, white, and blue pie for Westfield summer movie night kickoff event. The pizza was cooked at the pizzeria and transported to the lower level parking of Lot 3 at the Westfield's train station with an escort that included Westfield's police chief, Christopher Barallo, in a squad car with the lights flashing. Pizzeria owner Burrow Mahai said the most difficult part of the flag pizza was figuring out how to do the blue sections. He said vegetables all appeared purple on the pizza, so they used mozzarella dyed blue. And the movie that showed was Jumanji. And the man you see there is Westfield's police chief, Christopher Barallo, who escorted the pizza, and you could tell that he really loves that pizza. The owner said he sent in evidence to the Guinness World Record and is still waiting to get the creation certified. A woman was arrested for a DUI after she crashed in Arizona, but she said she was going to her own wedding she's being called the dui bride i just want to get to my wedding is that your wedding dress yes 32 year old amber young was pulled over in tucson arizona after causing a three car crash on police body cam footage you could hear her denying having any alcohol not anything i i i've just been like very like scared about everything after failing a field sobriety test she was arrested for dui do you think you should have been driving today? I think that I'm getting married today and I wasn't really sure what I'm supposed to be doing today. It turns out her sob story about getting married was a, all a big fat lie. Amber made up the whole thing and she didn't have to get to the church on time and that white dress wasn't a wedding dress at all. She just, it was just a nice sundress. She pleaded guilty and is now on probation. 
I just want to get to my wedding. Speaking of brides in trouble, this bride to be thought she got the deal of a lifetime buying a beautiful white dress online. But when she got in the mail, this is what it looked like. The bodice was completely see-through. Talk about a wedding dress fail. The side-by-side -side comparison posted on social media is drawing a big reaction online. One tweet goes, I have no sympathy for people who order the dress online. You know the risk. Shelley Brown, senior fashion editor for The Knot, says that there's a better way to get cheaper dresses. A bride can shop a sample sale. At a sample sale, you can get a wedding dress for up to 80% off, which is an amazing deal. There are other options. Shop at a consignment store or rent your gown. Just don't end up looking like this. SCLA 5 News, I'm Adrian Miramontes. She was arrested and sent to two days in jail and is now on probation. Winning the lottery is everyone's dream, but you might not think about using the numbers in your fortune cookie. That's what this man did, and he won $300,000. A Michigan man said that the numbers that won him $350,000 lottery jackpot came from the inside of a fortune cookie. The 61-year-old Yep City man told Michigan lottery officials that the numbers that came up in Friday's Fantasy 5 drawing 4, 11, 21, 28, and 38 are the numbers he had been playing for years ever since he found them on the slip inside of a fortune cookie. I've been playing these numbers for a long time, he said. I don't remember when I got that fortune cookie, but I do remember thinking that these numbers looked lucky, so I went with it. The winner said that he brought his winning ticket to the Express Mart Shopee in Yap City. My daughter and granddaughter were over Saturday morning and we celebrated. My granddaughter passing her driving test, he said. After they left, I checked my ticket and it got incredibly nervous when I saw I matched all five numbers. I had to convince everybody I was the winner because no one would believe me. The man said that he is planning to spend some of the money with his family. I'm probably on the hook for a new car for my granddaughter. This is a lot of money and I got a lot to do with it right now. A road in California is getting a lot of attention this week for having a stop sign that doesn't say stop, but stopo. Kaylee has the details. Officials in a California city said a sign painted on the road was corrected after it went viral for misspelling stop as STPO. The STPO message painted at the four-way intersection of Lincoln and Washington streets in Lemon Grove drew the attention of baffled drivers Monday who shared photos of the sign on social media. I thought they had templates. It just boggles the mind, right? Went to the mailbox and I looked at the stop sign and then I looked down on the ground and I said, that's a four-letter word spelled wrong. <laughs> Lemon Grove officials said the typo was the work of contractors doing paving work for the city. The sign was repainted with the correct spelling Tuesday. Unfortunately, human error was made as part of yesterday's work, the city said in a statement provided to KGTV. We received one notification from a resident through our online service request form and a lot of the media attention. Lemon Grove is released. We were able to bring a smile and levity to everyone's day, the statement said. Mistakes happen. Somebody must have been in a hurry. Kelly Minamontes, back to you. A brother and sister crying in a video that's gone viral because the sister graduated from pre-K. Take a look. A photo showing a young boy hugging his sister is warming hearts across the country. The photo was taken by Andrea and Matthew Smith at a pre-K graduation in Fairfield County, Connecticut. The Smiths shared the photo on Instagram saying that their son hugged his sister after graduating and told her, I'm just so proud of you. At those words, the young girl started crying. As we wiped away our tears, my husband asked her, Pumpkin, why are you crying? She responded, I'm just so happy. The post read, In just four days, the photo has received nearly 20,000 likes. And just days before, it was her birthday. Mom saying that happy birthday to my little baby. That's gonna do it for this episode thank you for joining us today and i hope i'm gonna see you next week next week on the 4th of july i'm gonna be posting another episode and i will give you some coverage of the 4th of july fireworks uh i don't know if i reported it but the mar marijuana 
save the fireworks. Long story. Search all my reporter next next week. But good goodbye for now. Good night.